My name is Molly Judge. I'm the director at Radcliffe Creek School. We have uh, been open for 14 years. About 15 to 20 percent of school age children have a learning disability. It may not be identified, but there, it's there. My background is in special education, so I have a particular desire to work with students who learn differently. I had worked in the public school system and worked in a, uh, another independent school where it was uh, very obvious there were kids there who were very bright, very capable in, in particular areas, music, art, math, but they just could not show that kind of shining ability in certain areas like reading, writing, and spelling. I was involved with a small business called Educational Support Services, where we tested and, and provided tutoring services to uh, children in our community. And what we found was we were doing a lot of helping the child sort of stay afloat, but we didn't have as much time with them as we, had, we would like to try to reteach how they learned. So we actually started to explore, okay, well, what about a school? So we went and visited schools such as Lab School in Kingsbury, and they opened their doors and, and welcomed us and said, you know, this is great on the Eastern Shore, there's nothing, and there are children with learning disabilities everywhere, and why not try to help us get something started on the shore? And that's kind of how it started. And I can remember t coming home one day and saying to my husband, Jimmy, I want to start a school. And we started small with 13 students. We typically get students who have tried other means first and realize that it's not going to work and come here. A typical example would be that, that a child processes information perhaps more slowly than their average peer. And by that I mean that the child is taking in information either by listening, by reading, the brain recognizes if this information is coming in, but then there's a disconnect almost between what the child wants to produce or, or, or output information. So if the child's asked to write something about that information or say something about that information, sometimes it just doesn't come out as the child intends. It comes out more slowly, it may come out unorganized, it may come out jumbled, uh, it may come out so unclear that the listener or the teacher may suspect that that child does not fully understand what it is that she's saying or asking, when in fact a child may very well understand it, just cannot show or demonstrate traditionally. The field that we work in here at Radcliffe Creek School is growing and changing every day. We, we know so much more about it. We know where it is in the brain. We know when they do a functional MRI on a child with dyslexia that truly the brain functions differently. So it's not, a, it's not a matter of a child not trying hard enough. It's not a matter of a child not motivated enough. It's not a matter of that the parents didn't read to the child enough. That's the way the child is wired. We attract families from a variety of backgrounds. We, we have uh, students here from seven counties in Maryland and Delaware. We have students from homeschooling situations, public school situations, private school situations. They are looking to re-enter in a variety of different uh, school systems. So our job really is to, again, try to instill in them some strategies and some tools so that they can access information so that they can be independent and successful wherever it is that they go. We provide a very hands-on, very multi-sensory uh, approach to learning. So they're not just getting it, A says, ah, they're going to be doing it with large gross motor muscles and very uh, different tactile sensations. They're going to be hearing it, saying it, writing it, moving it. And the more you can introduce things that are going to be difficult for them in a multitude of ways, the better that they'll remember it down the road. Well, the teachers are the, the foundation of this school. They, they are what makes things happen. Technology is a phenomenal resource, but it is that. It's a resource. And a teacher is the essence of the child's education because it is in the hands of a teacher where that child will make the success. 
their primary concern here, number one, are, is the growth of the children. And, and that's their focus and their vision, is that we're going to take this child from here and we're going to move forward. And we're going to use a set of goals and objectives and we're going to work daily on those. And we will do anything we have to do, including stand on our head, to make that happen. It has always been the premise behind uh, the board that Radcliffe be available to anybody who needed it. So that's what keeps me awake, is how can I get that family who needs to be here, in here, and not be stopped at the door because they cannot afford the costs to come to school here. Once they are in a place that recognizes, okay, yeah, you have this thing going on, but we're going to share with you ways to make that easier to handle. And by the way, guess what? You're a pretty darn good artist. Or oh my God, I've never seen an eight-year-old play chess like that. In addition to focusing on the areas that are giving them difficulties, we are also really celebrating what, you know, their strengths. What do you do well? The children begin to learn that, okay, I may not be the best speller in the world, but I have tools to make myself independent and successful. And they are not going to be the same tools that the boy sitting next to me is using, but I'm okay with that. Yeah, there's no guarantee, and we tell them, you're, you are going to have to work hard. You're, you're going to have to work harder than that person sitting next to you. It's not going to come easy. But in the end, you can be where you need to be, where you want to be.